Now, here's a musical treat, the world premiere of a new mini opera called The Incompetence Opera. It stars Maria Ferrante, Ray Bowens, and the Peter Principal Chorus, accompanied by the Dunning-Kruger Effective Orchestra. Now, here is our narrator, Karen Hopkin. Thank you, Lamb Chop. A psychologist walks into a bar. The psychologist commiserates with the bartender. The bartender commiserates with the psychologist. Each feels stuck in their careers. The waitstaff and the customers in the bar commiserate with them. As they all commiserate, you might want to think about the Peter Principle. The Peter Principle, described in the 1960s by Canadian psychologist Lawrence J. Peter, explains that in any organization, people are promoted until they reach their level of maximum incompetence. <laughs> Let me repeat that. The Peter Principle explains that in any organization, people are promoted until they reach their level of maximum incompetence. The Peter Principle got the bartender and the psychologist to where they are today. It'll probably keep them there. Let's listen to them lament. When I was young, they made me go see a shrink. She sized me up, offered me a job interpreting blotted ink. She disappeared, don't know where she went. The job was vacant. They consequently offered me promotion, which I accepted. Tis ignorance of psychology, I did what I thought was best. I told the clients to blow their nose and always stick out their chest. My boss got angry, then she resigned. Till they made me boss, hey, I didn't mind. They offered me promotion, which I accepted. If your bosses had any sense, they would question your competence. How you manage to manage things when managing's a thing you don't know how to do. If my bosses had any sense, they would question my competence. How I managed to do what I do when I do not know what to do. If your bosses had any sense, they would question their competence. How they manage to manage things when managing's a thing they don't know how to do. If my bosses had any sense, they would question their competence. How I manage to do what they do when they do not know what to do. Maybe there's uncertainty. It's hard to say how much, but certainly there's uncertainty. Maybe there's uncertainty when you get made into a manager. When some mediocre club is chosen just by luck, and then we get stuck with them. Forever after they get promoted, well, nothing really works because it's managed by random jerks. My truffle tail is just like yours, I bet it ain't the man. I never knew they could be flown in to ever come back again. The laundry took me to the drinks ten times a week. I cook the seats. I offered me promotion, which I accepted. If your bosses had any sense, they would question your competence. How you manage to manage things when managing's a thing you don't know how to do. If my bosses had any sense, they would question my competence. How they manage to do what I do. If your bosses had any sense, they would question their competence. How they manage to manage things when managing's a thing they don't know how to do. If my bosses had any sense, they would question their competence. How they manage to do what they do when they do not know what to do. Maybe there's uncertainty. It's hard to say how much, but certainly there's uncertainty. Maybe there's uncertainty.
the psychologist and the bartender are still stuck in the bar, commiserating with each other about how they're stuck in their careers. So everyone else is still stuck in the bar listening to them. So now the psychologist is it, the psych, so now the psychologist is going to share his lofty professional knowledge with us. So he's going to tell us all about something all of us already know about, something called the Peter Principle. So let's drink in his wisdom. So I've been thinking about our plight. We rose in rank to excessive height. Above the point where we're competent, we're scared to seek other employment. So listen, sweetheart, while I explain, and then perhaps I will explain again. Explain to you this great principle, so you'll understand this great prince. Oh, so. Peter was first to hear it principally was his idea. He wrote a book all about this principle. I call it the Peter Prince. Paul. To understand, so you, so to speak, will take me by the hand. So you, a person of principle, will explain to me the Peter Prince. Pull. So. Get distressed. They base promotions on who is best. The one best worker is then removed from whatever that worker is best at. So, Peter says what is even worse, and is even maybe more perverse, is now the manager is someone who does not even know how to manage! So, there are incompetence. So, if what I'm saying makes any sense, all organizations manage to make their managers so dense! <laughs>
in the thrilling conclusion to the opera, the psychologist has just learned about an important psychology research paper. It's about people who are incompetent. The psychologist is going to explain it to us. It's something called the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's very emotional. See for yourself. Thomas Michel on accordion. Dr. Bruce Copeland on bass. The soprano soloist Maria Ferrante. The tenor soloist Ray Bowens. The Peter Principal Chorus. And the opera directors, Maria Ferrante and Robin Abrams.